if aliens were gonna land in Kelowna, this is the spot they would pick. It's just so weird. Weird and wonderful. It looks like this bondish Fort Knox fortress sitting on top of the hill. Or some abandoned Spanish, Italian, Riviera villa. It looks pretty incredible as you approach it. Wow. Two windows are gone out of the top of that tower. What is this place even? Wow. What even is this place? Coming around the back with the tower, you just see this sitting against the Okanagan backdrop and uh, Okanagan Lake way down below. The views up here are incredible. These are the kind of places I love exploring. Just empty, deserted, odd buildings sitting in beautiful landscapes. And this is one, it's like, it's very luxurious. Someone had big dreams for this place. Just look at this big amphitheater behind me and there's all this patio furniture just set up, covered in snow. Let's go in. There's just a, a wide open door here where you can just walk in. Oh wow. This place has just been destroyed by kids. There's all kinds of mouse poop up here. Records and everything have just been left. It's pretty wild. There's all kinds of broken glass up here. I really gotta find these wine caves. I'm excited if we can go underground. There's some really inspirational sayings here. Nice artwork. Now we're up in the tower part. You can walk right onto the roof. Whoa. Check it out. Welcome to the show. concept art they had for the park is just crazy. Like we had some wild visions. Look at that. They had like a gondola style park with a half pipe running down the middle like a gutter. Oh Paint me like one of your French girls, Jack. Ready to go? Here I am crossing the first suspension bridge. Pretty neat. Bounces a little bit when you walk on it. Wow. Right after you cross the suspension bridge, you come to the place where there's a tunnel cave into the mountain. There's like a dining room set up in the entrance to the cave. This place is incredible. Oh, it like opens up almost. 
over there. Just this hole in the rock. What's this tunnel? Straight up. I was expecting uh, the wine cave to be a little bit bigger. It'd be like a full on wine cellar that goes down into the rock, but it's pretty small. It actually only goes in here about 30 feet and then stops. We've got a tunnel that goes straight up at the end. Is this gonna hold? It's not that strong, it's a little weak. Chandelier. <laughs> yeah, girl. This place is unreal. Like, who even, who even does this? People with too much money. That's who. The views are pretty, pretty good, though. I'll have to admit. Their dreams were so wild and bizarre. They were gonna build a half pipe in this ditch behind me. That's just, that's just such a weird idea. It's not even straight, it's just this curved ditch down the mountain and they were gonna put a half pipe supposedly in there. So this is a, uh, this is the sun bridge with a span of 500 feet built in 2009. And it leads to this wacky sundial with crazy Corinthian columns. Now here, we've arrived at the Acropolis in Greece. Oh wait, it's actually just above Kelowna and there's these <laughs> wacky columns just standing here. What even is this place? Where am I? Some sort of fantasy dream world up here. So behind me is the bridge they claim to have the longest in North America at 800 feet long suspension bridge. Which is just a little bit hard to believe, but hey, Nina's already crossing it. She has no fear. Yep, I can verify that in fact, it is a suspension bridge. <laughs> you holding onto the railing? Here's the part where they made a fake waterfall by piping water up the top of this rock. And there's just a hole in the pipe so the water spills out over and the pathway goes across the waterfall underneath you. But that's kind of what this place is. Everything about it is just completely fake and man-made. It's really, there's a feeling of being contrived. Everything is just, just man-made. Like that waterfall wouldn't even exist. I'm almost leaving this place just feeling confused. Because there's so many questions. Like, why does this even exist? What will the future of this place be? This place is so strange. But I like it at the same time. And I hope it stays abandoned. <laughs>